This question wants us to find the sum of all of the even numbers between 99 and 301. And so I think the first step is to realize that neither 99 nor 301 is an even number. So really we're looking at the numbers between 100 and 300 and we want to sum up all of the even numbers in that range. So every other number is even, which means we're looking at about half of the numbers between 100 and 300, which means we're looking at around 100 numbers because it's just every other number in a range of 200 numbers. So we're looking at about 100 numbers. We want the sum of all of those 100 numbers. And we know that the sum is going to be the product of the average multiplied by the number of terms. So again, the number of terms is around 100. What would be the average in this arithmetic sequence, also known as an evenly spaced set, between 100 and 300? The average would be the midpoint of that range, so 200. Now, answer choice B does give us a multiple of 100, that's somewhere around 20,000. Uh, answer choice C is not a multiple of 100 because it doesn't end in 0, 0. So I can already tell the correct answer has to be B, because it's the only one that makes any sense. Now, just for our purposes, uh, so that we know for harder questions, the way to find the exact number of terms in an evenly spaced set is to figure out the range, so how far apart are the first term and the last term, divide that range by the size of each space in this evenly spaced set. So in this case, the size of each space is two because we're just looking at even numbers. So they're all two apart from one another. So we take the total range, in this case, 200, divided by that space, which is two. So that gives us 100. And then we just have to add one at the end. And the reason why we have to add one, I think the best way I can explain that is a hockey game has three periods but it only has two breaks. A break between the first period and the second period, and then another break between the second period and the third period. So when you compare the number of periods in the game to the number of breaks, there's one more period than there are breaks. And why is that? I guess another analogy is when you eat a sandwich, there's two pieces of bread, but only one meat or whatever it is that you have inside that sandwich and that's kind of what's happening when you're looking at the number of terms in an evenly spaced set. The spacing, all of those spaces among the data points in the set, there's always going to be one fewer of those than the actual numbers in the set. For the same reason that there's one more period than break in a hockey game. And there's one more slice of bread than the inside of the sandwich in a sandwich. So that's the reason why we have to add one at the end to get the number of terms in an evenly spaced set. So once again, you take the range, you divide it by the size of each space, and then you add one in the end. So applying that to this question, we have a range of 200, a space of two, and we add one to get the number of terms. So the sum of all of these numbers would be the number of terms, so 101, multiplied by the average, in this case 200, and that's how we would get 20,200. I should note that this question stem gave us a formula. I think that formula is a distraction in this case because I think using that formula to solve this question is much harder than uh, what we've seen uh, in this video. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.